Welcome to the shop, everyone. Today we're test fitting the oil pan, oil pump, oil pump pickup, and crank scraper and windage tray. And we're also going to make a tool to put the oil pump pickup on. All right, so let's get this thing unbagged and flipped over. Now, a lot of these components I'm putting into this engine is to help control the oil in the windage condition. Now the oil pan I bought is a Corvette oil pan for big block Chevys. It's got some baffling in there, probably for cornering and braking. Uh, even has a little trap door in there, it moves back and forth. And the oil pump pickup is supposed to set in that center section. Now the oil pump I bought is a high volume oil pump, so they're sometimes a little bit taller and sometimes that difference in height can cause problems with oil pan, oil pan, or oil pump pickups and things like that. So we're just gonna trial fit everything today and kind of see how well things fit together. Now the oil pump there is a, you know, it's a milling select, I think they call it, performance oil pump. It's a little better than their standard oil pumps. And, uh, it came with the oil pump drive, and it's a nice looking drive, but I had already bought a ARP oil pump drive that I'm going to run in this engine. And again, ARP bolts for the oil pan. Now, let's set the oil pump on there, and, you know, get an idea if the oil pump pickup I bought for that pump will clear the pan so let's just sit the pan on the side of the engine rail and kind of set the oil pump pickup and just kind of see if it lines up pretty good and that that does look pretty good so I'm, I'm encouraged by that so let's get these unpackaged this is the crank scraper that bolts onto the side of the I don't know the oil pan tray and the other one is the windage tray that kind of goes on the back section of the motor where the studs are. So when I put the windage tray on, uh, I had a little bit of misalignment with the studs. So I marked a little section there that we're gonna have to grind off with the die grinder. Should fit on there now. And these nuts here, that's what you screw down on the studs that holds the windage tray in place. So get those screwed down there. All right, let's set that on there now. And what I did, is I used like a carpenter square and I set it to the back of where the oil pump is. And then I just went around and moved those nuts up and down until I got the windage tray the same height as where the oil pump is. All right, so let's put some nuts on there, kind of screw it down. And then we're gonna wanna turn the crankshaft and see what kind of clearance we got between the crankshaft rods and the windage tray. And it looks like it clears nicely. And also the pickup tube. Let's see if it has interference. No, nope, that's good. Now the crank scraper is going to need quite a bit of clearancing to clear the rods, the crankshaft, and a few other things. So it just keeps the oil from climbing up into the engine. So I got some nuts and bolts, and that's what I'll hold in place. And I'll I'll turn the crankshaft around, and I'll make a marks with a sharpie and keep grinding away area until I get the clearance I need for the crank rods to clear. I'm trying to get as close as I can, you know, to wipe off the oil, but I need to spin too. So the oil pan on this side here, the bolt holes line up pretty good. But on the other side, you can tell, if we go around to the other side, you'll be able to see that it's, it's hitting something, and I'm, I'm betting it's hitting that windage tray. 
So let's take it off. It's gonna be, that edge right there will probably have to be clearance some, and you can see an old pan itself where it's scrubbing. But one other thing is, when I put the witness tray in there, where it scrapes the back, you can see the misalignment of where the dipstick goes. See that little red line, red, red arrow I have pointing at it, see? And so, I don't have the dipstick yet. I'm gonna go ahead and order that before I put it on there and make sure everything lines up well before I install everything for good. All right, so the next thing is, I need a way to install this pickup tube on this oil pump. I don't wanna hit it with a hammer, drive it in the back, use the punch, none of that stuff really works. So we're gonna make a tool to put that thing on there correctly. So let's walk over to the junk bucket and dig through it and see what we can find to make it out of. Piece of pipe, too big. Now that might work. Let's go see how close it is. Alright, so that's just a little bit loose, so I think I can hammer that end down a little bit. Make it tighter. Ah, that looks good. Alright, so I'm going to set it up in a lathe and I'm going to trim that front off just to make a good square. And right now, the oil pump pickup won't fit into that hole because, you know, I have the end closed up some. So I'm going to keep machining the end off until it fits. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Alright. Use a belt sander and, or disc sander, I guess I should say. Clean it up a little bit. Looking better. Now, I'm going to use my mill, and I'm going to use a three-quarters uh, end mill because the pipe on the pickup is three-quarters, and my mill is slot down the center of that piece of tubing. And as I'm milling it, I'll take the tube and I'll kind of stick it up there to see how far I need to go. Now, I'm going to go a little farther than I should because hopefully maybe this tool will work on other pickups than just this one here. So if I slide that in there, see how that works? Looks really nice. All right, so let's go back to the belt sander and knock off some of that sharp edges. Get it cleaned up a little bit. Ah, looking good. Now, let's get some other components to make this tool with. And I'm actually going to use a air impact wrench, or air hammer, I guess I should call it, to drive that oil pickup onto the pump itself. So let's cut it off, cut the pipe off some. All right. Now, this piece here, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna drill one end out to where that impact hammer bit will go into it. I'm gonna do an interference fit. I have to press it on there. All right, so let's stick it into press and push that on there. Now I'm going to turn it to the outside diameter of that pipe. And then when I get done with that, I'm going to machine a step to the center of it for the inside of that pipe. And that's going to be an interference fit too. So let's get this thing machined down to size.
All right, one more cut and we'll have it. Let's break the sharp edges. All right. All right, let's go press that thing into the tube. Well, it turned out the tube actually has like a seam on the inside. So I'm gonna get my boring bar and machine that out. Use my deep burn tool. All right, let's go press that together. Barely got it. All right, so there's the tool made. See how it fits into the pickup, and then it has all those sides that'll help push it in. So let's stick it on the air hammer. Kind of show you how I would use it. Now that oil pump there isn't the one I'm gonna use, and I don't wanna install it, so I'm not gonna try to push it all the way on there. I'm just kind of showing you guys how it works. All right, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a like, subscribe, share it, ring the bell, do all those things, because we sure appreciate it. And we hope to see you all on the next video. Thanks so much.